It's on the beat, make it boom. Yo, what's up, everybody? And welcome to another episode of Let's Doc About It. As always, I'm Alan Ford. I'm Will Hill. And today's documentary is called Ready or Not, the 1996 draft. Or you can say Ready or Not, the 96 draft. Whichever one, same year. It is located, uh, it was it first aired on NBA TV, but it is located on YouTube. So you can go find it, look it up there. You can watch the whole thing. It's free. It is super free. YouTube is free uh, with ads. What ads? Yes, with ads. Yeah, always. What you commercials? Know, yeah, YouTube. You know, you watch a video <laughs> longer than five minutes, they're going to put an ad in it. So, uh, yeah. So, it basically explains the, uh, the 1996 draft. Who, uh, people say it's one of the most talented drafts, if not the talent, most talented draft of all time. Um, Looking at that draft class, I yes. think you, you have to agree. Yeah. I think the next best draft class is the 03, right? With LeBron, Melo. No, it's 03 or 84, because 84 had Jordan, Hakeem. Right, those are the top three. Top three drafts. Draft right. class. Right. The, uh, it, it might change over time, though. What 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 draft class? It might change. I'm telling you, this uh, is, it, I think it was 2016, 2018 draft. There's some ballers that came out of that. But that's yeah, but well, I guess we'll find out. We'll find out over time, though. That's over time. I mean. It took them 20 years to realize. No, it took them 24 years, right? 2020, that's 24 years, 1996. For what? For them to realize that's probably one of the best drafts. Because they didn't really talk about it that much. No, I've always heard They've about always the draft. Talked about yeah. it? Oh, okay, well then, there you go. I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought, 2020, I thought, like, man, they finally talking about this draft class? No, nah, I think they just giving it the recognition that it's due, but it's all, it's all, I've always heard talk of this draft right. class. So you got to wait a while, though, for that. I mean, oh, yeah, you have to wait till like, everybody pans out. Yes. Like. <laughs> so they talk about their whole draft process, uh, their whole uh, draft process, uh, going through the workouts, being anxious in the green room, waiting to hear your name call. But they also talked about how this was one of the first draft classes that underclassmen from college and that it was more high school players in this one than any other one. So most of KG them got, got- – Draft a year before. Yeah, right? ninety five. He was one of the first. He was one of the second. I think KG was the second. I forgot the name of the first one, but the first one was like back, yeah. like the seventies or something like that. But KG was the second one. Uh, and then after that, the the ninety six draft, the two that came out of high school, were Kobe Bryant, Jermaine O'Neal. Yeah, Kobe Bryant, Jermaine O'Neal. That was the only two. That came out of high school. Yeah. Yeah, Kobe Bryant, Jermaine O'Neal. Okay. The only two that came out of high school in that one. The other ones were foreign, were foreigners. So, Pedro Stojakovic was in that draft. Uh, Big Z, Zydrunas Ilgostas. We all know him. Got drafted by Cleveland. Yes, and we all know who went number one in that draft. Allen Iverson. Without a doubt. Everybody knew. Everybody knew. Allen Iverson from Georgetown. He he was just automatic number one pick. The guy from Philly wanted some new energy because they traded Charles Barkley before and they were struggling. I think they won 18 games. Yeah. Sounds familiar. <laughs> so last time they won 18 games, they drafted Joel Embiid. Embiid. And then Ben Simmons. And we all know how that played out. <laughs> <laughs> Joel Embiid's still there. He's still hooping. And they, they got he better. Dominated. So, he dominated. Hmm? Joel Embiid dominated. Yeah, he had dominated. Yeah. He got cheated out the MVP last year, but that's another thing. That's a whole nother conversation. Back to this draft <laughs> class. Uh, yeah, and the upperclassmen were, like, pissed because they think they said, oh, you got to do four four years in college, then uh, your body's NBA ready. It's like, no, it's not like that. If you got skill, you can do it. I- Iverson did what? I think he did one or two? One. One year. Iverson did one. I mean, it's one and done. If you have the body yeah. of athleticism to do it, right. I feel like basketball is one of those sports. And the skill, and they see the potential. Yeah. Right. The yeah. It's one of those sports where you could do that. Right. Yeah, basketball. I think football is, too. It just football takes is not. A, football is I not. I think football, you can do two years in college. You can do two years in college. Three. I know you got to do three, but you could do two. I feel like you could do two in football. Maybe. Maybe two. Maybe. You just, I mean, what? You sit back and you learn for a year, and then you're ready to go. Because then all you're doing is football. It's body. No, it's, it's, it's body and stuff. Yeah, it, it, your body's not ready for NFL out of high school. Okay. We know that. Yeah. I don't. Well, I don't, out, of, out of high school. Yeah, I'm talking about two years in college. I'm two years, maybe. Right? I think you're, you're close. Right. Right? And I think you could squeeze in somebody from two years. But overall, I don't think so. Right. Yeah, and then uh, even and some of these players actually did about two, three years in college, but they were still classified as, as uh, underclassmen. 
underclass and seeing these seniors like these people like who are you getting so pissed about it who was it it was you wouldn't be pissed i'd be pissed a little bit but not that pissed it's like you still gonna get drafted not necessarily bro come on just imagine you you plan all four years you know you you plan on getting your degree right and you, you you play all four years to build up a body of work right in college basketball. But not, do you think everybody thought they were going to be a, I understand 29. It's probably 29 players on there, but that whole draft class. You think, if I say the name, and if I say the name, Mark Hendrickson from Washington State. Thank you. It's going <laughs> to at that time, he probably was, but he only played four seasons, and he was on an MLB contract too. He was like working out with MLB team, yeah. and he was actually more successful in the major leagues. He's the guy who pitched Ken Griffey Jr. his 600 home run. That's Mark Hendricks. He got drafted by Philly, and Ryan Miner, who also got drafted by Philly back to back, had a better career in the MLB. <laughs> the two- <laughs> so the 76ers and are good at baseball players. They but here's could- the thing: Mark Henderson played four years. Eric Miner didn't play. At all. He just went straight to baseball. So he got drafted. So he took somebody's spot. <laughs> I'll be pissed about that. <laughs> but uh, John Wallace, okay. You right, had, took Ben Wallace's spot because he was undrafted. Yeah, well, yeah, Ben Wallace was undrafted. No, somebody took his spot. I forget. I think it was Travis Knight or somebody. I don't know. But they, they were like trying to change Ben Wallace. Ben Wallace was also supposed to come get drafted, but he didn't get drafted. So he was undrafted. But he was in the league probably, I think, a, I think he was in the league like, he was in the league that year. Golden State. No, Washington Bullets. There it is. Okay. The Washington Bullets. Because he went to Italy to play for a month. Oh. Then he was in the league, came back to Washington State. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he was in the league. But John Wallace, John Wallace was a star player at Syracuse. They went to the national championship game. They lost to Kentucky. And Kentucky had Antoine Walker, who was also part of the draft class. Shout out Chi Town. Mm-hmm. Uh, he went to Mount Carmel. I went to Rita. Fuck you still. <laughs> But, yeah, uh, Antoine Walker was a part of that Kentucky team that beat them. Antoine Walker didn't play good, but Antoine Walker was the – oh, shit. He was on here. Well, I just saw him. He was a sits pick, so he was still top ten. Right, yeah. But that's because, yeah. But John Wallace uh, was went like – Went to Boston, right? Yeah, yeah, went to Boston. Got drafted by Boston. Played for, I think, two teams, Boston, and he won a championship with Miami. Right. And uh, John Wallace played Syracuse. Uh he knew he was going to get drafted, but he thought he was going to be top five. <laughs> he really thought he was going to be top five, just the way he was playing. He thought he, and everybody was getting picked about him. He ended up getting picked 18th by the Knicks. And at that time, uh, it's not like how it is now. Where you could get picked first round and second round and still make the team. No, if you got picked first round, it was guaranteed three years. Right. And second round, you had to actually try out. Oh yeah, you, yeah, you, you got it's a try. We, you got to stare. We, it was second round was an invitation, <laughs> and that just shows hard work beats everything. Oh yeah, hundred percent. You know who's the second round pick? Who? Draymond Green, four championships. Not because of him. Well, I think it is. No, it would have been five. I'm if not. He a didn't get suspended fan. in 2016, but that's a whole other story again. But also, okay, Ben Wallace is a pure example thing. Okay, Ben Wallace didn't get undrafted. One of the was best undrafted. was a Shaq stopper, by well, the way. Double that, negative, you said. Okay, go ahead. What did I say? Didn't get undrafted. Oh, shit. He was undrafted. Yes, he was undrafted. He did go undrafted. Matter? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he did go undrafted. And uh, he was a Shaq stopper. That was a strong human being, man. Yeah, he was a big man. That was a, that was a big dude. We, we talked about him on a previous episode. Mm-hmm. Him and Jermaine O'Neal. Or shall I call him Jermaine Haymaker O'Neal. <laughs> Malice at the palace. <laughs> go back and watch that episode. Yeah, go back and watch that. Yes, you'll be very entertained. We talked about everything that happened in that. Always. We couldn't talk about everything. And so he got picked up by the Washington Bullets. Uh, who else was in the second round? Caratel used to ball on NBA Live with Othella Harrington. Was a hooper. You ever played NBA Live? No. Okay, never mind. Uh, the rest of these players don't really matter. Malik Rose won two championships with the San Antonio Spurs. He was drafted in the second round, number 44, with the Charlotte Hornets. And actually, he played 13 seasons 
Malik Rose. Yeah. And, oh, okay, okay. Let's talk about another player who got drafted. The point guard of of New York, Stephon Marbury. So you know they can see you on the camera on your phone, right? I'm looking at. Oh, sh- I thought you was texting somebody, man. No, I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible with names, right? Terrible. This is a great draft class, <laughs> and I'm I'm looking at the actual draft list, so oh, okay, I okay. can say the names correctly. Oh, yeah. So I could talk about this intelligently with you. Right. Oh, okay. oh damn. I guess I must be stupid over here. We know. Oh, wow. Oh. We know. Yeah, I did do double negative early. I can't. He sure did. I can't do it. Some, and low key, <laughs> I'm going to look in behind me to see if I spell let's doc about it right. I do that too sometimes. Yeah, I'm like, I sp- I'm th- just in my head. Like, did I spell that right? I spelled it right. But Stefan Marbury was on there. Uh, he got drafted by Milwaukee. And right Four. after him was Ray Allen. And Ray Allen got drafted by Minnesota. He wasn't too happy about that because Milwaukee said it's going to take him. Then they traded him. Right. And he dumb. said um, Minnesota had J.R. Ryder. And so it's like they already got him a two guard. Yeah. It's like, damn, man, you could have been playing with KG earlier than later because he ended up being teammates with KG anyway. But Stefan Meyer and KJ, KG, they fit perfectly together anyway. That's I forget all the time how great of a basketball player Stephon Marbury was. Yes. I, I, I'm not going to lie. Um, that man was dominant. Yes. He just. Uh, then went know? to China and just, just blew up. He, the guard play changed. The guard no, he was different. a superstar in China. Oh, was a, oh, yeah. Yeah. No, not not he was he's the Michael Jordan over in China. He won several championships in China. How many well, championships did he win? He went over there and went crazy. And now he's the head coach. Yeah, he's the head coach over there. Since twenty eighteen, my man. Remember the Marberries? Yeah. My my dad still got a br- pair of brown ones. Stop. Not lying. That's the most dad shit ever. He got a pair <laughs> of brown. They look like Air Force One Marberries. <laughs> <laughs> Not lying. I hooped in a pair of Marberries before. Everybody did. In well, grammar, school. Most yeah, in grammar school. Then I got made fun of. Then I was like, I don't think my self esteem could take these no more. To you, and you plus, I busted school. out a pair of one of them. No, yeah. no, I was in the hood, so Marberries was they was decent. I played outside in them bitches though. <laughs> Not indoors. It was like, no, I don't think these got traction on them like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they got traction on them. But then they got traded. So Ray Allen got played in Milwaukee. Hint, Milwaukee was a good fit for him. You know, he was in the two years later. He was in a movie. He got game. Uh huh. Two years later, that was crazy. And then he won a championship. Let's let's go down uh, in order. Twelve years later. Let's go down in order for like top fifteen. Okay. All right. So these names sound familiar. All right. How about as you, they should? You say the names, and I'll say the awards. Uh. So first, first, first pick of the first round. Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson, MVP, 2001 MVP, 24,000 points. Changed the way NBA players dress now and day, how hip-hop <laughs> culture, and how hip-hop culture is in the NBA. Yeah, seriously. Um, yes. Crossed over Jordan. Crossed over, who rocked his ass. <laughs> Toughest player ever to play the game. Yeah, he brought, he brought the street tenacity to the professional he level. He did, man. Um, A god in Philly. Pick number two, Toronto, Marcus Camby. Marcus Camby, former defensive player of the year, took the Knicks to the finals in 1999, uh, played 17 years, uh, all-time great center of the Denver Nuggets, was a mm-hmm. teammate of Carmelo Anthony. Yep. Pick number three, uh, Sharif Abdur Rahim. Used to kill with him on the Hawks in NBA Live 2003. You couldn't afford 2K? No? Not a 2K fan, Dan? No, I had both. Well, okay, okay. But you know, live was more, you know, 2K, you could just dunk and just live was you had to, had to try yeah. to score. I like the games we now 2K, you have to learn how to score. Yeah. NBA sure. Live, you had to learn how to score. Pick number four, uh, as we just stated, Stefan Marbury. Point God, man. Point God played for Minnesota, Phoenix. He was a beast. He played with Yao. He was at the Rockets. Mm-hmm. He played with Yao, then got traded. And uh, he, I think he played with the Celtics too, did he? Uh, let's double check. Did he play with the Celtics? He did... Nah. Uh, yeah, the last he season. Not. He was a Nick. Yep. Oh, he played Boston to, uh, 8 9 He was a Nick towards the end of his career. That's when the Starberries came out. Mm-hmm. Got paid big money. 
a legend in China, won several championships in China. Now coaches there. Mm-hmm. Uh, number five, uh, Ray Allen, Jesus Ray Allen, Shuttlesworth. Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Shuttlesworth, two-time champion, <laughs> won one with Boston and won one with Miami, hit that game seven shot that – for some reason, people keep playing that game all over and over again. It was like, they played like shit that game. They were supposed to lose yeah. that game. San Antonio blew it. That's it. I think a lot of people, like, because I'm, I'm not a huge basketball historian, none mm-hmm. of that, but a lot of people forget how Ray Allen really dominated also in the paint. Yes. Well, I, I feel like most people, especially like younger people, only he, think of Ray Allen, think about threes. I went to, this is when Ron Artest on the Bulls game. I went to a Bulls-Bucks game. Ray Allen was on the Bucks. I'm looking up. The Bulls won. Ray Allen had a silent 41 points. Talk about a silent. 41. I'm talking like it wasn't that exciting. But yeah. you look up, it's like number 34 <laughs> got 41 points. What? <laughs> he got 40. It didn't feel like it, but he got 41 points. All right. Pick number six, Boston and Tone Walker. Oh, and also got Ray Allen second in all time threes. Second all time in three points made. Second, right behind Steph, right? Yeah, Steph beat him last year. Mm-hmm. All right, go ahead. But that man was just. It's going. Ain't nobody breaking that record no time soon. Yeah, because right. he's still going. Yeah, he's still going. Yeah, now, oh no, the league has changed now. Whatever. He shoots seven a game. Man. Antonio Walker. Anto- Antoine, Antoine Walker. Is that what that is? Yes, yeah, it's, it's pronounced Antoine, but you could, man. You good. Sure. It's, you know, oh, what's really your accolades? <laughs> uh, NBA champion with the Heat. Uh, played with the Celtics for a long time before going to the Heat. I think he was a Grizzly. I want to say he was a Grizzly. I remember this man on the Grizzlies. No, he was he was in Dallas and Atlanta. Oh, Dallas. Okay, I remember Dallas. I remember him in Dallas. NBA Live 2004 was a beast. Pick number. Inventor of the shimmy after making a three. What is what? Are I, Lorenzen Wright? Lorenz Wright. Lorenz Wright. Could jump out the building. Man. I don't even know this guy. Could jump out the building, dude. I feel I feel terrible saying that. Don't don't quote me. You get man. You already got Antoine Walker wrong, so we. Good. I sure did. <laughs> Kerry Kittles, number uh, eight. Long time two guard of the New Jersey Nets. He played eight years, only for the New Jersey Nets. Went to the finals, got swept in 03. What is this? Number eight. No, I mean nine. Samaki Walker. Samaki Walker. He uh he played with the Lakers when they sucked. Nope, nope. He went. Yep, he went to a finals with the Lakers in 04. His son Jabari Walker, oh, plays mm-hmm. for the Rockets now. Mm-hmm. Second pick in this year's draft. Number ten, Eric Dampier. Uh, longtime Maverick. I remember him playing with the Mavericks. I think he won a championship with the Heat. I want to say he did. And uh, that's it. Good defender though. Always got dunked on a lot. <laughs> That's what I remember from. He got dunked on a lot. My mind was on posters and on the wrong end of them boys. <laughs> uh, number 11, Todd Fuller. I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> no, number 12, I can't even say this guy's name. We're going to skip that too because it said Vitaly. Po- nope, nope, nope. Let's just keep going. Uh, and then the infamous number 13, Kobe Bryant. Second greatest player to ever play. Kobe this. Bean Bryant. Second greatest player to ever play this game. I stand behind that. We'll get to that afterwards. I'm just, uh, I'm just I don't care. Number 14, Paige just hey, oh, 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 whoa. Oh, my bad. We doing awards here. We just, Kobe you. ain't Vitaly put the pink thing go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I pronounced that right, but Kobe ain't him, okay? Go ahead. Kobe mm. Bryant mm-hmm. got drafted by the Charlotte, got drafted by the Charlotte, Charlotte Hornets. Right. No, we trained. thought this was Charlotte's fault, but no. Charlotte didn't believe in high school kids. Well, actually, Charlotte didn't believe in high school kids. And they traded Vadi Divac for him. Mm-hmm. Best trade, greatest Laker ever. By the way. <laughs> greatest Laker ever. Won five championships with the Lakers. Scored 81 points in the game. Surprisingly, has one MVP. Shouldn't have that. He is. Should, should not have. Should not just be one oh, MVP. You only got he one MVP. More. He should have more. Okay. He should have at least two. You said shouldn't have that. Like, like he shouldn't he have should, got the one. He should not, man. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. And he is fourth in all time in scoring. He was third, but somebody ruined that. He was fourth in all-time score. No. You ruined that, LeBron? No, he's third in all-time score. Yeah, he's third. Kobe's third in all-time score. So, Kareem, LeBron, Kobe? Yep. And Jordan's fourth. Okay. Um, Pedro. Pedro Stojakovic. One of the greatest sharpshooters. Literally. Literally one of the greatest. That man had a peel. He would shoot that shit. Long-time Sacramento King, man. 
no matter sure. what year, man. Give like people, give people fits. I think he played for the Mavericks too. I want to say he did. He did not. He played for. Oh, he played for. That's bro. He played for the Hornets. He was a Hornet um, when they were in New Orleans. Are we just doing top fifteen? Round it out with Steve Nash. Two-time MVP, one of the greatest pick and roll, second greatest pick and roll person ever. Who first? John Stockton. Him and Carmelo Malone was unstoppable. And then you have, again, Steve Nash and Amari Scott am I doing pick and roll. Not only that, Steve Nash was one of those, was the only point guard who would take the ball and dribble all around the court <laughs> and then throw the ball and then literally find a way to get a layup off. He would literally go around and around and you have to chase him. You know how you have to chase Steph Curry mm-hmm. now off the of screen? No. Imagine doing that with somebody with the ball in their hands. That's tough to do. We got some honorable we, mentions. Yeah, let's, let's go some honorable mentions. Names. Jermaine O'Neal. Jermaine O'Neal. Let's go to Tony Delk, one of my favorite Celtic point guards I've ever played with. Tony Delk. That was it? Yeah, that oh. was it. Uh, Jermaine O'Neal. Jermaine O'Neal. Uh, Jermaine Haymaker O'Neal. <laughs> got drafted by Portland Trailblazers. Played there for a bit. Was known for playing in Indiana for a lot. Was a beast in Indiana, actually. Like, do you think without all the whole fighting thing, he would have been one of the greatest players ever? Over who? Just. Do you know the, what position the, he played? Yeah. He played the four. Yeah. Do you know who you have to beat out for that? I, I, I hear you. I'm just saying. No. 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 I mean, he'll be in the Hall of Fame if he had a ring, but no. He just Um, he needed a ring to get there. John Wallace. Walter McCarty. Mm. Oof, that's a name. Zanduris. Zadrunas Agostics. Big Mm -hmm. Z. You can say Big Z. Uh, Longtime Cleveland Cavalier was a friends with LeBron James. Was a big LeBron James Mm -hmm. guy. Uh, He and LeBron was on teams together for Miami and Cleveland. He couldn't get that ring, though. He couldn't get that. No, ring. he was never around. No, he was around. To get I mean, that to ring. get the ring. No, no, no. no cause that, that's when LeBron was dragging him to the the, the finals yeah, by himself. But then he was on Miami the first year he went to Miami, and they lost to Dallas. Yeah. And then I, I was saying Elgasus was never around when the rings came ah, around. That's what yeah, I was saying. He wasn't around. That's fucked up. Uh, Dante Jones. That name sounds familiar, but I can't match the face with the name. New York Knicks. I, okay, no. Uh, Rory Rogers. Oof, another. You're not touching that one. Yeah, I can't get it. Um, and I host the open mic. Ain't that something? Mm-hmm. Uh, Derek Fisher. Yeah, that's not even scribble. That's like they just actually they just like look like they just type. <laughs> Somebody put their <laughs> arm on the yeah. keyboard. That's what. It... <laughs> all right, all right. Derek Fisher. Derek Fisher, five time champion, long time Laker. He played with the Lakers. He played with the Thunder, and he played with the Utah Jazz. Derek Fisher rarely missed the playoffs. Uh, one of the best point think he'll guards be a good coach? Kobe Bryant's played with. Huh? I think Derek Fisher going to be a good coach. He was a terrible coach, by the way. <laughs> He's, he coached the, I think he coached the Sparks, so he got fired. But he was a terrible Knicks coach. So let's get that out of the way. He could not coach the Knicks at all. He was awful. Um, number 25, Martin Morsep. You got that right? It's that, easy. Uh, I don't even know who the hell Martin Massette is. He's played two years. Jerome Williams, number 26. In Former Bull. Had, the ter- had terrible dentures. 27. He he was Orlando, Brian Evans. Let's keep going. Um, 28. Uh, who? Mm. Priest Lunderdale. Mm. And then number 29, because there's only 29 teams, Travis Knight. Played Former Bull. I actually remember Travis Knight. He, yeah. was, he played on that team that Ray Allen scored that quiet for the game. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. I think that's uh, Marcus Mann. Oh, story about this guy. Marcus Mann got drafted the second round, right? So he decided in the offseason, and he played what? He didn't play. He didn't play here. So he got drafted uh, second round, 40th pick. He decided in the offseason. He's just done with basketball. See, he got a call from God. He asked God, what should I do? And he said, and he said, God said, your time is up. <laughs> and so, you know what he did? What? While Golden State were flying to their game, he went home. He's been a preacher ever since. I mean, but God called you. God, God is trying yes, to tell that. you something. He was like, speak, Lord. Speak to me. 
It was like the Put scene. Put the ball down, son. <laughs> <laughs> and pick up the ball. Hey, now. Hey, 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 hey. Put the ball down. You know, it was like, you ever seen The Color Purple? Yeah. It was like when she was I'm singing. I'm black. Yeah. Oh, that don't mean nothing. Yes. That don't mean nothing. It's black history month. It's black people ain't don't, seen Don't challenge Friday. me. Anyway. Okay. No, but it was like that scene. <laughs> You know, in the color purple when she's singing at the you know, the little jive and juke joint. And yeah, yeah, yeah. She sing and make her way to the church uh-huh. and say, See, Daddy, it was like that. You know, but he went home while the other team was going <laughs> to play basketball. So my man chose not to have millions of dollars. And he made the team. That's the crazy part. This was a regular season game. So he made do training. He did all that work. Just to go. I don't want to do this no more. I mean, hey, live live whatever life you see yeah. fit. And if the Lord tells you so stop what you're doing and spread the word. You do that you shit. Just, you just you drop everything you're doing and you do that shit. All right. So that concludes this episode. Of Let's talk about it. what do you rate it. Fucking one. All right. You gave it a one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't learn nothing new. Y'all know me. Y'all know me by now. If y'all paying attention. I'm all about learning something new. I didn't learn not one singular thing new. This was quite honestly a waste of my time um it was it was great for nostalgia um you know what i'm saying it was two parts of this too uh it was way too long it was way too long (laughs) way too long um it was it was it was nice to hear from all the players right most of the players sat down and had these conversations and you got to get an insight on how they felt nervous but i feel like that's every player when they get drafted right. not one feeling was different one thing i always fucking hate is to see like kids leave college to take care of their family and it's like bro you are a student you should be getting you know some type of education and not like i hate the fact that a lot of black kids have to had to still do like fuck the education to make the nba i don't have to do that now they a lot of them still do no you can that, make money in college now well yeah now with nio deals but i'm just yeah. saying uh. but they still do. They still got to, because the ones who don't got NIO deals, they still got to do their best to make it to the league to take care of their family. Yeah, but some of them, it was their dream to actually make it there. I mean, I if, you that, no, no. if you that good, though, what's like I'm going to class for? That was just a side note. It didn't have nothing to do with it. <laughs> yeah, you can go back and get your education. They bought, I'll do it. I mean, they, they cheated for Derrick Rose when he was down in Memphis. That nigga tried to take his... <laughs> No, that's it. He, he had somebody trying to take his test on him. But that's One what trying, they did. That's, I know the girl that did it. Hi, come on, man. <laughs> it was a girl? Yeah. <laughs> come on, hey, Derek, here. You got to take attendance. Nah, it wasn't even like that. They took the test, and um, she took a separate test. And as they was collecting the test, they threw his away, and she turned in his. That's funny as hell. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'll give it a uh, four. A four, all the way up four. Man, it's nostalgia, man. Fuck that. Got I, one, love no, I love, I love nostalgia. And plus, it was some stuff I didn't even know. Like, the, did you know about Mark Hendricks and Ryan Miner? Did, did you know they ended up being better at baseball than basketball? Did I care? Did you care? No. No, no I, I was good to know all these other. I didn't know some of these players. I didn't even know they were in the. No, no, no. This is not my one. Is not a representation on. The documentary itself. It's how I felt about right. it. It's my personal opinion exactly. about it. I, know. Yeah, I, know. I think people who like basketball will love the documentary. I mean, if you love basketball and you want to learn more in depth about one of the best draft class in basketball, which it is, like it's either one or two. It's not three. I mean, it's been a couple of documentaries. We rated on. I hope y'all don't watch this shit. It was an episode. I, I say watch it. it. I say watch it if I you like still basketball. Still watch it, but yeah, still watch it. Like basketball is really good. So I gave it that. Uh, all right. Uh, you can follow us, Let's Talk About It, on TikTok, YouTube, Spotify, and Facebook. Like us on Instagram at LDAIPod22. Follow me at For the Comedy on all social media platforms. Well, you can follow me everywhere, simply just will. Hey, for y'all that like the show, those who like our banter, we have a show coming up. Yes. At the end of February. Yes. February 26th at Riddle's Comedy Club. Yes. Make sure y'all come check us out. We do more than just talk about documentaries. Was that it? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was it. It's on the beat, make it boom. <laughs> <laughs>